What's up gamers? Welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. This time, I'm not on Master Duel. I am on TCG Player. So, I'm going to address the few elephants in the room. First and foremost, Megatons are ass. Second, um, yesterday, roughly around 11 p.m. at my time, uh, Pacific Standard, uh, a certain someone dropped a video. Uh, uh, opening the quarter century bonanza set. Now, I am not going to drop the link in the description or anything like that. Google is free, and of course, a lot of the cards in there are quite the uh, quite the shock to everyone. But this is Konami, and this is their aggressive reprint policy because they don't have a set ban list, unlike certain other card games like Pokemon and Magic and Hearthstone. Right. However, because of their aggressive reprint policy, that means certain cards lose value. And what cards lose value, you say? SP Little Knight, Triple Tactics Thrust, Wanted, Sinful, Sinful, Sinful Spoils. So, I am not going to list off each card that was in those openings because it is not my job. However, it's my job to let you guys know that, hey, this might be a good time to go buy some cards. So, let's take a... So, obviously, SP Little Knight was the most secret, sought-out secret rare besides uh, Dark Magician Girl, of course. So, let's just take a look at the Woman of Grass, right? Look at that. Is that $40? It was that... Let's see here. Is that $48? $48. $40 right here. 18 <laughs> as of October 29th. Alright here, look at this. Twenty bucks. Whew. So I wanna say preface this first and foremost that I am on a rather neutral stance on leaks. I think certain things deserve to be leaked. Right? Say your favorite manga just dropped a new chapter in like V Jump or Shonen Jump, right? Those guys that leak out the chapter, that's fine. You know, I, I would like to at least be caught up because that way, you know, I can't wait for the eventual anime that it gets, you know. And there are some things that I don't think should be leaked. For example, a multi-million dollar uh, video game projects with a lot of scrapped ideas, uh, a lot of source codes, things like that. I don't think those should be leaked at all to the internet. Uh, because then it creates the idea that uh, when, the do when the actual final project comes out, everyone's going to complain. They're going to go back to the leaks and it's like it got leaked for a reason. Um, they got deleted for a reason. There's reasons why some things aren't in the game, some things aren't. Um, but now, we did get leaks of the quarter century bonanza. Now, I will say this it's out in two weeks. The fact that we have yet to get an official content creator reveal, right? Uh. <laughs> Before Halloween is kind of crazy. Also, happy Halloween to those who celebrate. Um, now, the only things we know so far is that there is a 200 separate cards in the soldier pool. Konami ha recently themselves have been releasing about, uh, I believe, five cards um, every day. Uh, where they were just like, hey, here's the new stuff in our uh, nostalgia pool, right? You know, like, and they're releasing a lot of good stuff in there. There's a lot of, um, a lot of Edison, Goat Format related cards. Darn you, Discord. Okay, right. Like, for example, uh, yesterday they dropped, uh, five Synchros, right? That are available in, um, the Core Century Secret Rare or in that special Luxury, uh, Platinum Secret Rare. So, uh, like, yesterday they released Castor, Brianak, Nat Beast, Army Arm, and Sheehan. All those are played in Edison, and those are great reprints, right? You get yourselves a high rarity catastrophe, high rarity Nat Beast, right? That's pretty good. You know, day before, they dropped four monarchs Caius, Ariza, uh, um, Mobius. Like, those are great. That's fantastic. You know, you know, all these are really good. Of course, there's one card that was quite a. <clears throat> If you're in the nostalgia part and it's Sky Striker Mobile is engaged, but besides that, it's great because hey, 
you know. Now we only get to see like what's waiting in this 70 car 78 card set. And of course, you know, the Yu-Gi-Oh community always complains because they all all they do is complain. Um, you know, some wish that we just got reveals for the 78 card set, but it's like I'd rather just see what's in this 200 card pool because you know, what if we get just like some random bangers? What if we get a magical android in there or a trap dust shoot, right? They're printing Cyberstein in this 200 card nostalgia pool, right? So the chances are slim, but it's not impossible, right? But with the recent links, uh, leaks, I mean, um, there's also comes the idea that with recent rarity collections, because this is just a rename rarity collection, let's be honest, right? Right? Would certain cards be hit, banned, limited, semi limited, right? The first rarity collection, you know, it was a banger of a set, right? Baron reprint, Borrowed Savage reprint, right? All right, banned immediately, like two months later after they made them affordable, right? Konami got jokes, right? Second rarity, uh, rarity, um, collection right nothing i don't think got hit in that one besides um oh god was it anti -sp no S skilldren wasn't in there well skilldren got hit but what i'm saying is people are calling for certain cards to be ban limited or semi-limited because you know they they're complaining like now everyone ha can afford these cards and you know blah, blah no one should be able to use them but me I hate that kind of mentality, right? We want new players to join this game. We want new players to play this game. Rare, these these rarity collections and quarter century bonanzas are such good at bringing in, at helping these new players get a jump start of making their decks, right? Rarity collection one had one of the banger hand trap lineups: Ash, Valor, Imperm, Nibiru. You're set. That's your main twelve non engine right there. Put your number twenty eight on your main deck. Right, Red Collection Two, because they're trying to capitalize on Red Collection One. Didn't have the best ones, you know. Cross Out was fine, you know. Droll was fine. DD Crow's fine, right? It had some other weird ones in there too. We did get Altered Appaloosa. Rest in peace, Appaloosa. I forgot Appaloosa got banned, so rest in peace, Appaloosa. Right? You know, th those cards help these players get new product. You know, they help them make their decks early, right? These tins do not. So I'll give you some context of these tins. It is a $400 card set, right? So, we have our Ultras, Commons, Prismatic, Secret Rares, and Core Century Rares. Now you're wondering, what was the rares in, in the Super Rares? So, in addition of getting rid of the rare and super rares to compensate they're throwing in a quarter century secret rare in every pack now you get three packs per tin right however also because of that that means you only get one prismatic secret rare per tin so you get three ultras 18 commons a secret rare and a um quarter century secret rare now problem with that is you only get three secret rares a tin so in theory in theory, right, you could get some banger secret rares, right? Like, you could get an SP, a True Day and Premier in your 10, right? Or you could get some absolutely fodder secret rares. Like, who wants to get a fire recovery in a secret rare? Or a, a Noble Arms Museum. Actually, you know, that one's actually look that this one actually looks pretty good. I, I, I did like this one, so that one that one's okay, but like. Takusano Shingyojin as my secret. Duamotef as a secret. When it was already a secret. And that's also the main problem. Some of these cards did not deserve to get reprinted. We already got reprinted of Ice Shader and Agrin and Grimmer Agrin, right? In the Battle of Legends set. Some of these didn't need the rarity bumps or the, the slot that they deserved to be in. Like, Sargus is a secret rare, right? Um, Singularity was a secret rare. You know, like, some of these cards didn't deserve to be in that slot, while others should have been. But, you know, in Konami, it's like, they gotta sell this set, and I understand it. But, and these 
these suck because it's like they're gonna just rot on the shows forever. Now, do I think they're gonna rot on the shows forever? No, because the casual players or the, not like the casual the casual players, right? They're gonna look at these quarter century secrets and like, oh man, that's gonna this these are gonna be like pretty good, you know? Like look at that QCR blue eyes, dark magician girl, um, you know, U Bell, Red Dragon Archery. Like these are like good ones that's like to entice these people to buy them, right? It's just it sucks. Back back in September when we were opening these, that is just like, damn man. I wish I got a thrust out of my tin, or I wish I got a chaos angel out of my tin, right? But this just dumpstered the tins themselves. The fact that Konami released such a terrible project or terrible set, and they made such a banger right after, <laughs> is the most Konami thing I've ever heard, thought of. But. If there's one thing to take away from this video is right now, if you want to buy cards, I think you can buy them right now while everyone's offloading them and selling them because this is probably like the only opportunity. This is probably the only time I will see an SP Little Knife drop to twenty dollars. Right? Go get it right now while you can. Look at, hold on, let me just just look at this. Right? It was sitting at a nice forty-eight eighteen at, at October twenty-eighth, and now it's at eighteen fifty-eight. <laughs> Jesus, man. Anywho, thank you guys all for watching. Um, if you do want to go check out the leaks or anything like that, uh, Google is free. Go look it up yourselves. I'm not going to access that information because not only do I want to get my channel turned, but, you know, I don't have that much of an audience. But um, I do not want to face the Konami representatives. Anywho, thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time.